Greetings, this is this and I, me, and look, I have a mouse again. If you didn't hear in whatever other episode of whatever other game I was talking about, I wasn't playing Auction Not Included in Minecraft because I didn't have a mouse, but now I have a mouse. And so we're playing this game, which it's, it's quite confusing. So I've already played the third game in the series, Tangle Tower, if you guys saw that. Um, this is the game before that, so technically the second game, and there's a first game which I don't know if I'll play because it seems a little bit more just like a tiny little thing, maybe? I don't know, I just, I'm playing this one, okay? I already had been playing them out of order, so like, who cares which one I play next, right? I'm gonna play this game, and I just, like, the, the other one was really fun and really cool, like... I'm not going to say what happens at the end, because if you are maybe watching things in order and so you were watching this before you've seen the third one, I don't want to spoil it for you. But you guys that saw, you know, especially the, those that saw me playing it, you remember how surprised I was, right? Like, I totally didn't know what was going on there. So it's 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 a good time, you know? Um, yeah, go. Oh, OK. Headphones strongly re recommended. Sound is important. You will need sound to properly experience this game. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. I mean, I'm wearing headphones, of course, obviously. But I I don't think that the third game had that sort of aspect to it. So this is going to be interesting. But yeah, all around good time, I feel like, in the, the, the last one. So I figured, why not, why not play this one now, too, right? Ooh, this is so... I wasn't expecting any of this. <laughs> Got this whole intro sequence and stuff. Um, I hope they have the same voices for the people, because it's going to be really weird if they don't. A murder occurred in a remote part of this... Oh, God. A small tourist attraction deep within the heart of the marsh. Hold on. A tourist attraction? Here? Definitely the same dude. <laughs> he has the same sort of accented speech. Why would anyone come here by choice? I've explained this already. This area is famous. Famous? All I read was that some idiot thought they saw an alien here a hundred years ago. Get your facts straight for once. We're talking about a creature that's lived in the swamp for over 60 years. Whew. Okay, so it's a 60-year-old alien. I still don't <laughs> see what matters. If it matters to anyone, it's you. That creature is our prime suspect. The murder suspect? That's right. This is no Loch Ness Monster. You need to be taking this seriously. No, look, come on. How am I supposed to arrest something that might not exist? <laughs> You've always enjoyed a challenge before. You can start by reading this. Our case file? <laughs> There's not a lot of it, is there? As you we'll know, build it, don't we worry. Know the bare essentials at this point. So once again, the same sort of general premise as the other game in the sense that we are a detective and we're working on a case, which obviously that would be the same premise. But um, we have a we have a new location this time. Um, the music, though, I think is the same music as the other game, which is really interesting. Police file. Richard Remington, founder of tourist attraction Boggy's Bog, was found dead outside his office at 2045 last night. Exact cause of death unknown. Three small wounds to the chest suggest an attack from a clawed creature. Slime around the wound and footprints found at the scene suggest the culprit was Boggy, the legendary swamp creature. So Boggy has feet, you're telling me? Okay. Any of the seven other people present in the swamp last night could hold vital information. Seven other suspects. Okay, I think this is fewer than we had in the other game. I don't think I'll just keep comparing it to the other game until the ends of time, but uh, I can't help but compare it a little bit, right? Um, okay. Gross. Ah, those kind of feetsies. Got it. Okay. Um, somebody could have just had, like, a fake foot though and they just stomped it onto the ground, you know? Oh. Well. He's quite happy looking. But also, wait, these feet, so does he just... He's got quite a weird, like, stride. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a little interesting. Okay. Our murder victim, Richard Remington, he was in charge of this, uh, tourist attraction. Boggy's Bog? <laughs> what a name. 
name. Augie is the name of our creature. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Well, nowadays it is. You mean that stupid cartoon character? I I've heard of him. <laughs> that thing is our murder suspect? There's more to Boggy than the cartoon character, I promise you. This is the place it all began. You'll find out soon enough. Can you imagine accidentally making a children's cartoon about a murderer? <laughs> like, you weren't aware that it was a murderer, but then it turns out, oh yeah, this thing is real and a murderer. <laughs> Chapter 1, A Swamp Full of Secrets. Start! Your case file is in the top right. Okay. You can look at your clues and suspect profiles in here. Got it. When you've collected some, of course. Of course. I'll stay and guard our boat, so if you're confused, uh -huh. come back here and I'll help you. Oh, okay. I didn't have any help like that. Well, Sally was our help last time, I guess. Sally? That was her name, right? Which, she's apparently in this game. I think they talked about it at the end of the last one, how they changed her, her hair. <laughs> um, what is all this? Oh. Mr. Remington. Um, zero gold and three red. Uh, wow, okay. Boss, murder victim. Oh, okay. Uh, the body was found outside his office in the swamp. Three small wounds, mysterious slime. Okay. Getting myself acquainted here. Boggy... Zero of these, one of these has not been officially cited for 60 years. But was he officially cited before that? Um, clue and note. Police file. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to get acquainted with the menu before I get too deep into things. And I, and I don't know what's happening anymore, you know? Because I do that a lot. I, like, never look at anything until I'm, like, stuck, and then I'm like, oh, wow, there was, like, 1,500 things I could have been looking at this whole time that would have made things easier for me. Okay, so suspect, clue, note. Got it. Um, I don't know what these little, these, all these little numbers are for, but I guess we go forward now. I, what did I just do? No, stop it. Water is black and deep. I, My favorite yes. Kind. Oh, what? Ew. <laughs> I just wanted to know if I could still click on stuff like that's you can the in the other one. And you can! Good. Okay, that's the biggest tree you've ever seen? Interesting. That must be the entrance to Boggy's Bog. Okay. A lot of fog and a lot of trees. I can't wait to visit that area. <laughs> okay. A lot of fog and okay, a lot of Okay, 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 okay. Um, the boat? Ah, no, no, I don't want to talk to him. So soon, What's no. Troubling you? Nothing. Um... Your mustache is troubling Your me. Your mustache is troubling me. That thing seems to be longer every time I see you. You've been warned about this, detective. <laughs> Don't talk about my facial hair, and I won't talk about yours. What's wrong with mine? Yeah, it's perfectly under control. It's trimmed and ready for action. Grimoire, you're supposed to be investigating a murder. <laughs> Stop wasting time. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I'm ready to go. There's not much to click on. A simple wooden dock. Looks like it can just about hold my weight. Okay, I guess we go. Wait, but what about that this? Must be the entrance oh, okay. So all the same, all the same stuff. So now, that's where I need to go. I can switch to walk mode. Right, I was gonna say it's it's, it's there's oh, a and if I'm feeling there's a different confident. mode. I can turn off those sparkly hit icons in the options menu. Ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sparkly hit icons. Do I want them off? Yeah, sure. Off. Why not? Okay, so yeah. Go. Hello. <laughs> wow, he didn't get lost yet. No, I well, I only just got here. Yeah, Are there's like a there's like a straight path. <laughs> what? <laughs> of course, you're not great at remembering. I should be offended though. Huh. Are you, like, my long-lost sister or something? We've got the same color hair. <laughs> um... Is she- wait, is she from the first game? <gasps> Maybe she's from the first game. Interesting. I've never seen you before. <laughs> I've never seen you before. <laughs> I saw your hat blow through here already. 
You must be slow. If it wouldn't even wait for you. Well, if you let me, I'd better go after it. You huh. wait here and be You'll get lost. Oh god. I would never forgive myself if I let you go through without the map. You have a map of the swamp? Not anymore. I'm giving it to you. You should really stay here. It's dangerous. There's been a murder. Although I suppose you know all about it already? They're saying it was the creature. But it can't be him. He doesn't seem like a killing sort of creature. Nope. He's a different sort of creature. Magical creature? Wait, what do you mean? If you... Hmm. Huh, she disappeared. Interesting. I might pretend I imagined her. <laughs> okay. The fence that seems to surround this entire area. So there's a little girl. Uh, just an odd old tree. Okay. No clues, just mud. Uh, Boggy! It's an old statue of Boggy. His feet are hidden in a bucket of murky water. Ah, so I can't tell if the footprints match. Can I just get him out of there? <laughs> um, the, the notes were updated. A statue of the Boggy character greets visitors at the entrance. His feet are hidden in murky water. We are no stranger to murky water. Okay, um... I still don't quite oh, understand okay. why we have a tourist attraction here. <laughs> don't forget to use walk mode to move around. Okay. I won't. I know. Um, the tourist attraction is called Boggy's Bog. Right, I'm aware. Let's look at the gate. I still don't Okay, never it. mind. Let's look at it's this an thing. opportunity for a photographic memento. The two characters are an explorer and Boggy himself. Are they fighting? Uh No, I don't think so. I think the explorer, as you called them, is trying to lift Boggy out of the water. You know. As as you do. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> A wooden board shows an image of Boggy being handled roughly by a man dressed as an explorer. Okay. Sure. There are no clues here, as in I didn't find any, or as in there are none available? I think there are none available. I think if there are some available, there'll be, like, bars showing up here. Um. Okay, so is that- is that everything? No clues. I think that's everything. It seems like there are less things to click on than in the third game. Um. <sighs> Let's Just proceed. Ah, uh, well, what am I supposed to do it now? Looks like I can move these metal latches around. Oh, okay, perfect. I should just have to slide at least one of them out of the bottom of the lock. Okay, puzzle. Then I'll be able to get through this gate. Yay. Probably. Sweet. Okay, so it's just basically um, a backwards maze situation. So, um, I mean, both of them have like pathways to get down there the key is just you can only go so far with any one right but this hey, that nice. works one of these from my office. <laughs> okay that was really easy first puzzle though first puzzle this is the tourist attraction um stop judging it so harshly <sighs> just doesn't make sense to me okay let's do some thinking Oh, Drag already? Any two okay, cool. Thoughts into those slots stray body. thoughts. <laughs> and flick the connecting statements in between. Okay. To make a sentence. Yay! Tap the confirm button to try it out. Okay. I just have to focus my thoughts and reach a conclusion. Okay. Bog is bog. We we learned how to do like this already familiar. in the other game. Right. Okay. So, also sorry. I mean, it seems like a pretty simple game graphically, like like, there's not a lot of frames happening, you know, that vibe. So, I don't think there'll be any lag problems, but if there are, I'm sorry, I'll sort them out next episode. First episode is always kind of rocky. <laughs> um, the swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money. Ah, there we go. That's gotta be it, right? Straightforward, because that's what he was talking about right now. These other things are sort of irrelevant for right now. The swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money. Hmm, it's really bugging me. 
But what's the story behind this place? I mean, some things are really remote if they're just like well known. Do you guys also see a dog right here? Okay, hear me out for a second. So this is like the the snout. Oh god, there's eyes! Just ignore those for a second. This is like the snout, like this black right here is the is the nose of the dog. This is the eye. This is a floppy ear. And then it has some sort of weird like Elvis hair. <laughs> Do you guys get what I'm saying? That's just the first thing I noticed. I'm sorry. There's a hollow part of the tree uh, right at the front, but it's too dark to see inside. Okay. Um, I'll check my notes after. Don't fall in. Okay. Apparently, there's a museum to the left and a cafe to the right. I'm not hungry though. This place is putting me off food. Okay. Um. It's a fork in the road. How non-linear. <laughs> Okay, anything else? Those trees are more dense. It's like a forest back there. Uh-huh. So were those literally the only clues? What if the eyes show up again? Can I click on the eyes? Will they show up? Eh. There's a hollow part Ugh, of the tree. They don't care. Okay. Uh maybe this was all that was here? No, there's something else. There's a hollow part of the gigantic tree. It's too dark to see if there's anything inside. What else is a clue here it's at these crossroads? The you didn't care about the lily pads and the water, right? It's a fork in the road. Uh, Those trees are more um, Apparently, uh, uh, Yes. What it's am I missing? A gigantic tree, and it's sitting in the very heart of the swamp. Was this entire okay, the base of the tree. <laughs> uh, I don't know. A gigantic degree. Why do I keep saying degree when I'm trying to say gigantic tree? It sits in the center of the swamp. Everything else seems to be a wide circle. Okay. Sure. Cool. So, so do I go towards the cafe or the museum? I think we go towards the cafe first. Right? I should visit the crime scene before I do anything else. I think I'll fine. visit James and it was to the rest. <sighs> okay, fine. I like to leave the important stuff for last, but fine. Okay. Um, what is this? These flower petals seem flower like petals lying on the ground over there. Interesting. Okay. A tree stump, but it's cut down. Over the wooden pathway. It's hard to ignore. Yeah. Tent? I should visit the crime scene before I do anything else. Okay. I think Officer Jane. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just trying to collect clues. Looks like this path leads towards the northwest corner of Bongi's Bog. Uh-huh. I can't wait. Okay. Um... How many clues are here? Still two more. Uh... But I think they might have to do with this, and they don't want me to go there yet, right? Looks like this path. I because Looks like this path. there's not much. Looks like this path. There's not much that I can click on right now. Okay, let's go. Do 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 do. What up, Badu? So, am I at the crime scene yet? We're at a clearing Rock now. Sitting in the water like stepping stones. If that was a natural occurrence, it's a very convenient one. Well, there's an arrow going this way. If that... This area is kind of uh... empty. I can't see anything worth writing down. Really? That means there's definitely there's something here. Riding up that hill and through the trees. It doesn't look inviting. I'm not sure it's part of the tourist attraction. Ooh, fun! Let's go that way. This area yeah? is kind of empty. This area is. Uh, is there really nothing here? Oh, okay, I guess there's not much more here. So, you still want me to go towards the crime scene. Is that this scary path? Or is it the labeled path? You said west, so I guess we keep going west. Oh, perfect. Ah, I, I see. So this was his own little house place, right? So the footprints go very, like, single file towards the body, but not away from the body. 
these could be going away from the body. Unless, of course, he walked backwards to go away from it, which, you know, that's the thing, is people are always like, oh, these footprints are, like, looking like this, so this is telling us something. But, like, what if the criminal wanted you to check the footprints, and so he deliberately walked backwards, or something, he deliberately walked in the wrong direction, you know? You just, you never know these things, guys. Let's look at the body first, though, because I'm sure that's what they want us to so, do. This is where they found the Achievement body. unlocked. Let's get started. Um, okay. Uh, uh, sure. Why'd you open this up for me? I've read all this. Okay, a map. Okay. These are the only things I have. Guys, I don't care about that. What? Outside office. Remington's body? Yes. Okay. Let's just keep clicking on stuff. There are bizarre footprints with three toes leading up to the office door. Uh-huh. And back down into those reeds by the water. Uh-huh. Oh, so you're saying he murdered him there and then dragged his body here and then just left it? That seems odd. What's this? There's a uh, lot of oh my god! Here in the water. What? I just have to work out which find to break and tap that button. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's fun. So it's um do 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 ba 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 number that's three. The one. Yay! And I wonder where this lock pick came from. Um, boy, it looks <laughs> it's pretty rough. A lockpick discarded near the entrance to Remington's office. Covered in a strange liquid slime, most likely used by the murderer to break into Remington's office. And then there's two things I don't know about it yet. Interesting, okay. There's an open window above Remington's body. Oh, you think he dropped- he walked up this way, chucked him out of the window, and then walked back down and went back into the swamp. One of the curtains is ripped and hanging on the outside. Okay. Interesting. It's Remington's office. I don't really want to go inside. Well, have we have to. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. The we have to. Prince stopped right by these reeds. Maybe I should take a closer look. Maybe I can move some of oh, the way. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I told you guys it was fake. It's just a flipper. It's just a flipper. I called it. A strange pair of green flippers. Badly hidden in the reeds outside the office. I called it from literally like the first moment of the game. <laughs> okay. Strange green flippers who left these lying around. The murderer, obviously. I don't like it here. <laughs> okay. There are bizarre and Okay. You don't care about the other footprints though that aren't the three toed ones? Sure, sure, sure. Ah, uh, I can't get in here without a key. And I don't feel like kicking the door down. What about the lockpick? Maybe pick? if I get desperate later on. Okay, so we can't go in there right now? <sighs> okay. So we got all of the little things for now, it looks like. So can we go off this direction? I don't like no, it's just up there and back. Uh, let me just double check. Okay. Maybe. Got it. Okay, now I can go and explore the other places, ah, so right? Hi. I, for some reason, felt like I was alone here. Uh, hi, sir, and other sir. Or, uh, okay. I guess I have to talk to these people now. Oh? All right, let's see. Another suspect for my notebook. <laughs> That's a little rude. No, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Did I say that bit out loud? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I can hear your thoughts. So would you be able I... to answer my questions before I asked you? Would you be able to question my answers before I tell you? <laughs> I try. I'm Bobby Burr, professional cameraman. Pleased to meet you. I'm Detective Grimoire. I'm here to investigate last night's murder. Uh, obviously. Grimoire. I don't like Strange. it. Strange. Is that your first name? It's my 23rd name, but it's the one I like the best. <laughs> it's my second name. Detective is my first name. God, these are... How do I pick which one? These are so great. I like this option. <laughs> it's actually my 23rd name, 
but it's the one I like the best. <laughs> okay. What am I doing? What should I talk about? Oh, let me let's ask him about his job. Like, why is there a camera crew here? Is he filming a documentary for the tourist attraction? So you already told me what you do, but now why would a cameraman be working here? Yeah. Where I'm needed. Vincent wanted to come to the swamp and I was happy to help. Vincent Vanderpeer. Is Vincent that, that man that back man there? Standing on that rock over there? <laughs> That's right. I worked with him for many years. Is he your boss? Oh, I don't know about that. We work together. He's tried to film here before, but he never got permission until about a week ago. Oh. oh really? But why did he want to come here in the first place? If you're looking for a reason to write down in your notebook, I'm sure he can tell you if you ask him. I'm okay. just the guy who carries around the camera. You always carry that camera with you? Most of the time. Interesting. Okay, okay. What about last Brazil? night? Last night? Yes, I was. Uh, here, in this clearing? No, I was over at the cafe getting something to eat. Okay. Richard Remington was there too. Remington? We'll see about that. You saw him last night? Uh, just before the murder? That's right, I saw him. He left the cafe looking rather ill. I offered to help, Ill? but he just wanted to go back to his office. He looked like he had a lot on his mind. He was ill yesterday? Perhaps it was something he ate. Huh. You think he was poisoned? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a clue. So these two things I can't ask him about yet. But I can't ask him about different clues. I have three clues? Okay. What is it? Some evidence from last night's murder? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's great. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I have not seen that before. Okay. What is it? Some evidence from last night's murder? Yeah, stop saying that. He's getting more and more suspicious. <laughs> okay, what about... Tell me about Holy yourself. A cameraman with exceptional skills at carrying heavy equipment. Yeah, he's got an ego, you know? You should ask someone else. Uh, you don't even know anything about Boggy? That's suspicious. Try showing it to somebody different. I don't know, he seems kind of like a hack. <laughs> so, I can't talk to him anymore right now. Okay. What? Yes. I, I don't know. Do you have a message for me? Uh, he looks no, kind of like... I, I don't think so. Then why are you here? I'm incredibly busy. You don't look it. He kind of reminds Who me of the anyway? dude from what the third question? one. You're serious? I am Vincent Vanderpeer. The famous movie director? The artist, the visionary, <laughs> the auteur. I'm a man of many talents. Okay. Um. <laughs> I heard your work <laughs> was going downhill lately. No, no, no. Let's hope you have a talent for answering my That's questions. Great. Let's hope you have a talent for answering my questions. You're in my light. Could you take a few steps back, please? <laughs> but but you're a director. I know. Can anyone you... just walk in here and start filming? <sighs> um, Vincent Vanderpeer. Uh, only recently got permission from a ghost. Uh, Richard Remington, right? To leave the swamp forever. <laughs> to murder the... <laughs> no, no, to fill the here in the swamp. Yeah, okay. Vincent Vanderpeer like, calm down, dude. Got permission Remember. From Richard Remington to film here in the swamp. I wonder yeah. if Mr. Vanderpeer has been breaking rules. Challenge unlocked. Or maybe he'll have an excuse. Okay. Uh, wasn't given permission to film in the swamp. The challenge topic will now be available when talking to Vincent. Find the truth. Okay, there was something kind of like this in the other game, I think. Wait, who would I... Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought that my mouse cursor would change when I hovered over someone. I'm like, wait, who can I click on? So we're not going to challenge yet because we didn't even ask What's him about a anything famous yet. guy like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> quiet, quiet. I'm sure you're thinking. He has no nose and it's creeping me out. Assistant? But that's not the way this director works. But what are you doing? I'm feeling. I'm experiencing. My question is, why are we wearing coordinating outfits? This area, the history, the atmosphere. It's the perfect setting for my next film. I'm on a scouting mission to get to know this okay. spot before I begin work on the latest masterpiece in a string of masterpieces. 
You're making okay. Movie foggy. About the swamp creature? See our sleeves? They're the He's same. He's a fascinating individual, isn't he? So mysterious. No idea. I haven't met him yet. Uh, is that your <laughs> cameraman over there? Yes, that's right. Bobby Burl, my faithful right-hand man. Well, faithful enough, you know. No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't He's know. He's an expert cameraman. Really knows his trade, of course. But he gets a bit muddled when it comes to priorities. Okay. Like how? You mean he's lazy? He doesn't look lazy. That's a bit scary. <laughs> oh, no, nothing of the sort. He just has a little hobby that sometimes distracts Oh, him murdering people. But I wouldn't oh, he's a serial killer? Shooting for me. Shooting for you. I get it. Because he's a serial killer. Were okay. You working yesterday? Uh, here in the swamp, I mean? Indeed, I was working very hard indeed. Well uh, into the night. Uh, work, getting to know I was believing swamp. you until you yes. kept talking. But yesterday I was getting even more involved than usual. Yes, difficult to comprehend, I know. So what kind of work were you doing? Well, I was uh, unable to find my faithful cameraman last night. He had hidden himself quite completely from view. Uh, okay. Bro, right? Did you need him to film for you? Always. But being a resourceful type of man, I stepped up and took on the responsibility myself. I was filming in this exact area, in fact. You were uh -huh. filming last night? Here? Yes, at the time of the murder, I believe. But wait, okay, I know what that thinking. clears you, yeah, doesn't it? I'm not here to shoot some experimental documentary. That's what I, I thought you were doing. I have interest in late night surveillance footage. Did you see anything at all? Or what is it you were filming? The water. I was filming the water. <laughs> it's a fascinating subject. Okay. One that has me captivated to the point where so, I... So, you didn't see anything useful? Can I see the footage? Nothing useful to you. I good. demand you show me the footage. I'll find some something in it. Sounds on the audio Ooh, track. okay. But wild animals going about their nighttime rituals, I'm sure. No, oh, it was a murder. The cameraman. Yes, yes, yes. Please, 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 please. Um... Uh Oh my god, uh something I should ask the cameraman. Um Bobby Burl lied to me because uh <sighs> Ooh. Who was nowhere to be found last night? Because Vincent Vanderpeer was nowhere to be found last night? But Bobby Burl was nowhere to be found last night. Vincent Vanderpeer lied to me because Bobby Burl was nowhere to be found last night? He said he couldn't find him. But I thought that's just because he was filming from, a f filming from afar. Vincent Vanderpeer lied to me because Bobby Burl was nowhere to be found last night. Hmm. Maybe I just <sighs> need to change one thing. Okay. Uh, because Bobby Burl came to the swamp in the first place? Yeah, he said he was at the swamp, right? Oh, I don't know, but they said change one thing, so let's also try this. Appear, lied to me because Bobby Burl came to the swamp in the first place. No, oh, that uh, Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Nowhere to be found last night. Oh, change one thing. <laughs> um... Vincent Vanderpeer told me that Bobby Burl was nowhere to be found last night. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, why are we saying he lied? Like, that's just, Vincent that's what happened. There we go. Okay. Bobby Burl was nowhere to be found last night. Simple enough. What was Mr. Burl doing last night that meant he couldn't help out his boss? Serial killing. Everybody. There's more bodies. You just haven't found them yet. Um, okay. We have two challenge topics. Good. Um, do you want to tell me anything an about these clues? A plain sheet of Paper will suffice, thank you. I don't, thank you. <laughs> um, I don't map. really have time to be looking at items from your collection. Sorry, this is just how I do it, okay? I just ask everyone about I everything. It's any use to you I like to hear what they have I'll to say. Again tonight and try to get a version without all those bizarre noises. No, I want to hear the, the bizarre noises. <sighs> Monty. Okay. You won't be getting very far discussing that with me. Try someone less important. <laughs> okay, okay. What is I don't know what the question marks for. Like you don't know where you found these clues. If you want an autograph, a 
plain sheet of paper will suffice, thank you. Why, why, why would I want you to autograph the flippers? Well, I guess some people would want that. The Tell me about yourself. I know you would love to. The king of wit and whimsy. You met him. You're a lucky man. I thought you said I'm unlucky, man. <laughs> He's been That's the way I feel. For a number of years, a real expert, of course. Okay. Ah, yes. The reason we're all here, of course. Uh -huh. Not me. Isn't he your prime suspect? No. Well, officially, yeah, but I mean... <laughs> what an amazing creature! No one has seen him for 60 years and he still manages to get accused of murder! Incredible! Ah, okay, so you're one of those types. You're like, ooh, I love serial killers. That's why you don't mind that your cameraman is a serial killer, right? Now, okay, I got a it. a man who could handle himself. I'm not so sure. I well, mean, he's dead, so... wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Him, I yeah. think so, yes. Yeah, yeah. All it takes is one one bad one bad situation and you're gone. Uh should we do the challenge topic now? We'll do we'll do his challenge topic now because we're talking to him, but we're gonna save the other dude's challenge topic for next time. I heard this. I don't know how long this is gonna take. To film here. Where? In the in the swamp? What yeah. are you talking about? Yeah. Um Uh Remington has denied you the filming permission in the past. Remington has denied you the filming permission in the past. Yeah. Uh, that. Nothing uh -huh. but the natural process of being in a profession like mine. Every situation simply requires the right Put your approach. phone down. I'm talking to you. Smoothly. You understand that, sure. So you blackmail them. Why did Remington not want you filming here? And why did he change his mind? He changed his mind because you said you would sick you. the cameraman on it. is protected, you know. There are certain rules, certain regulations. I encounter this kind of thing all the time, really. That doesn't explain why he changes, too. Okay. It's a little suspicious. Why would you say that? A famous movie director suddenly gets his way. Yeah. I wonder how that happened. Time to use my notebook. Just drag an item onto the paper to draw the idea. Okay. I am famous. I'm the boss. Um, how did Mr. Vanderpeer suddenly get his own way? Money, right? Right. Yeah? That's the one. Okay. I think you bribed Remington to get the filming rights. Obviously, well, right? bribe is a strong word. It was just a little arrangement between friends. Nothing worth getting ah, upset okay, about. Ah, okay, okay. I simply promised him a cut of my next movie's profits. It made sense, since he owned the area anyway. And since he's not making much money favor on this favor. tourist attraction that's so way too far money. away from a civilization. Only a small percentage, simply out of courtesy. And not for a long time, either. Challenge complete! Yay! Okay, so I have nothing else to talk to him about, I don't think, and I have no more time for today. Oh, wow. Film footage. Footage recorded last night at the exact time of the murder. Um, sweet. There's nothing to see, but various clues can be heard on the audio track. Listen to them in order. Sweet, this is so cool. So I... I will listen to these next time. I'm out of time for today. We'll have to go through that footage. We'll have to go through that footage next time, and we have to challenge him next time. And there's so much more exploring to do. We haven't even gone everywhere yet, but I'm already loving this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye now. <laughs>